Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to customize your document view in your Titan DocSign using F Flow Builder. Alright, so um, in the previous video I showed you how you can customize your view in the um, Form Titan package for Salesforce. So if I click this, FD Generate Document, and I'll click the Actions View Document, I get all the options that I set up there. and our instances manage users, send, download, and upload, um, and everything was enabled through here. I'm going to show you how you can set this up using Flow and completely customize this, um, tailor this to your use case. All right, so let's head over to our Flow Builder, and what we have here is a simple get, um, get records. We're getting all contacts. Um, we're grabbing from the contact the uh, first name, last name, and email, and Second thing we'll do, we'll loop over all of our contacts. So this is just in my scenario, obviously you could use any object, whatever use case you have. Next thing we were gonna use here is we're gonna create a new variable. All right, so we're gonna create a new resource and I'm gonna create a variable and I'm gonna select apex defined. And what I'm gonna use is the formula doc sign signer structure. All right, and I'm gonna do allow multiple values and in a minute you'll see why okay so we're just gonna name this variable look sign signers and we're gonna do collection so we'll know this is our collection all right our next element will be an assignment and we're going to assign signers to collection Right, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna search a variable. And we will select new resource and we're gonna say variable again, data type, apex defined, doc sign signer structure. I'm gonna call this just the same, I'm gonna do done. And now we're just gonna, we're gonna say that the doc sign signer structure dot email equals our contact dot email and we're going to add more assignments so structure the first name equals our contact dot first name and same thing for last name Wonderful. And we have record ID as well. So record ID equals our contact ID. And that should do it. And our next assignment will be we're going to go to our DocSign um, signers collection and we're going to do add. And we're going to add our sign signer structure and we're going to hit done the only thing we have left to do is hook this up so we're going to hook it to the loop so for each item in collection and then we're going to return it back to the loop from here to here and now we're good to go the only thing left is to call um, form type all right so we're going to do an action and we're going to search for form builder and we're going to call the DocSign URL helper, which will basically return us the um, URL view for the doc. Okay, so get URL, get docs, titan, a custom view, URL. And we need to pass the API key, form hash, record ID. These are mandatory, so I'm going to head back to my um, to my builder. Let's close this out, and I'm going to go to my Salesforce configuration. Select the uh, FT form hash, and paste it in here. Same for the API key, and paste that in here. And my record ID will be my first contact, and 
that should do. And now we can decide what we want to do with it. So we can do allow docs download, yes. And let's say I don't want the PDF and I will allow send and I will allow users config. And I'm going to allow signers. And I'm going to include the signers as well. All right, so let's see. The signer is what we need to pass for. It's our collection that we just built. Allow users config, let's say true. And allow send true and true. All right, and we're good to go. And now we can pass in also for how long the URL will be valid for. So let's do five, uh, five minutes. And let's do done. And let's map this in. And that will be after the last item. What we're going to do is save. And now we're just going to debug this. So obviously you can use it for a screen. You can use it for whatever you want. Another neat thing you can do is add an action element. And we're going to do open URL, which is uh, within our form builder. And what it will basically give you, it will pop up the URL that you get in return. All right, so what we're going to say is um, open custom preview. And our URL will be our text from get docs, docs, docs type and custom view URL. Since this is this action, this Apex action returns a, a string. So we can use that and the flow builder will give it to us immediately. And in the mode you could do either self or um, or new, which will basically give you either a new window or will open in that existing window. In this instance, I'm not gonna pass it. I'm just gonna hit done. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna connect it up to our action and that should do it. So let's debug it and see what happens. All right, let's give it a second to load and let's run it. Okay, we're missing the record ID. So let's just go back there since I passed in a collection. So let's just go back there and I'm gonna give it a string for record ID. And normal instance, you will need to pass in a record ID, a main record ID. Um, dynamically obviously and we'll hit save and let's debug this again and now let's see what happens all right we see immediately our thingy ran um, we pass in all of these all of these signers and we have 25 signers in here all of our signers from Salesforce dynamically put in our form, how amazing is that? And we have the upload, download, and send available to us since this is what we configured in our, um, in our flow builder. And this is how it's done.